the garbage bin mind is not in any one place every cell in this body has its own intelligence the brain is sitting in your head but mind is all over the place questioner are mind and brain the same thing sadguru no they are not like your little finger the brain is also another part of your body with a different function of course can the mind be active without a brain it is not just the brain the mind cannot be active without many things we need not scoop out our brains to take away the activity of your mind that can be done in so many ways the brain is a physical thing it is the body it has a certain function which is essential for the mind to exist but the mind is a certain consequence and activities for example suppose you are speaking your speech exists if you stop speaking and sit quietly where is your speech is it speaking and waiting in your mouth no it just does not exist your speech exists only when you are in that activity otherwise it doesn't similarly with your mind your mind exists only in its activity if you are take off the activity it does not exist it is not a physical object where is your mind if you knew where it was you would have fixed it by now you don't know where it is because it exists only in its activity but brain is a physical object the brain is not only about thoughts and the other things which you refer to as mind it also control how your liver your heart even how your little finger should function they are two different things but are they connected definitely everything is connected every cell in your body is connected every cell in your body has its own bind your genes carry memory and act out that memory that is a kind of mind in yoga we look at a human being as five sheets of body three are physical realities the other two are in different realms the three physical body mental body and energy body are all physical and they cannot exist without each other the physical body is physical you can see it but there is a mental body that you cannot see every cell in this body has its own intelligent this is a mental body The brain is sitting in your head but the mind is not in any one place it is all over the place it is a certain activity if you chase the activity then the mind does not exist if you turn off the mind it is not just off it ceases to exist if you turn it on it is again there it is like a cinema when a cinema is on it is more real than real then with just one switch it vanishes it does not matter whether a war scene is going on or a love scene is going on you turn off one power switch it is gone mind is just like that a big drama is going on which is so real in your experience of life what is going on in in your mind is more important to you than what is going on outside of you what your thought emotion says is far more important than what the world is saying but if you turn it off it suddenly ceases to exist then you see the ridiculous nature of your mind it creates such a drama but it is actually so fragile it is like a cinema you turn it off it is finished if it becomes a conscious cinema there is no problem there is nothing wrong with the cinema let us say have a dvd in your house all the walls in your house are screens if the same movie is playing all the time won't it drive you distraction it will drive you to madness and that is what is going on right now when the mind is out of control we say that people is mad i am not saying your movie is bad it does not matter what kind of movie it is if it is all the time 
it is a horror you can enjoy the movie only if you can turn it on and turn it off when you want then it is a wonderful movie if you try to make the limited unlimited you will suffer question i don't know if i am struggle but i think most people are like this we spend a lot of our energy and life thinking about sexuality and the other sex i would like to hear something from you about this sadguru there is nothing strange about it it is just that your intelligence has been hijacked by your hormones it is not you it is just compulsive behavior when you were a child it didn't matter to you what reproductive organs a man or woman carried but the moment hormones started playing within you you could not think of a world beyond that and you will see beyond a certain age when the play of hormones goes down once again it doesn't matter when you look back you cannot believe you were the one who was doing all that right now you're thinking about the opposite sex all the time let us say i grant you the boon that all the women in the world will be after you you will still live an unfulfilled life it will definitely not get you anywhere worthwhile i'm not trying to make it dirty it is fine but you will live within the ambit of the physical body maybe a little bit of pleasure will come to you but it is not the ultimate no matter what you have or how much you have will still live an unfulfilled life you may try to manage it somehow with a little bit of emotion a little bit of mind a little bit of society but it does not matter what you do if you are sincere with your life you will see you are still living an unfulfilled life if you live within the ambit of the body it knows only survival and procreation nothing else there is nothing wrong with that it is just limited that is all the truth is the physical body has to play only that how much of role in your life but now you are trying to stretch it all over you will definitely bring suffering to yourself because you are trying to create a falsehood people who think they are just perfect and that nothing will ever happen to them look at what happens to them after some time life has its ways a million different ways the most unexpected ways to bend you break you knit you and grind you have you seen it happening to the people around you if life situation do not break you death will Every moment of your life, every step, no matter how many places you think you're going, whether you're going to your office, your home, on a vacation, the body doesn't know all that. It is walking straight to the grave. Every moment it is going nowhere else. Right now because you are young, because of the play of hormones, you have forgotten this but slowly as time passes it will become more and more apparent that the body is walking towards the grave if all that you have known is just the body and you are going to lose the whole of it fear becomes the way to live the physical body's ways are very limited if you try to make it everything if you try to make the limited unlimited you will suffer because that is the way of the body there is no other way there is nothing wrong with your hormones it is just that they are compulsive once you live a compulsive life you are living the life of a slave do you want to be a slave there is something within you which cannot be a slave whether you are a slave to something or someone once you are a slave unknowingly slowly you will become a long face when you were a child you were full of big smiles because there wasn't so much slavery slowly as different kind of compulsions to cover without knowing why although everything your business your family your relationship is going fine in your life your face is becoming longer and longer you are doing desperate acts to be happy as people get richer and older you will see they start doing more desperate thing to be happy 
Desperation comes because you are trying to make a small aspect of your life into everything. It will not work. Today western culture especially have made the body into everything and their suffering is untold. Physically everything is well and properly arranged, food, health care, insurance, car, but people are suffering immensely. Although every fifth person in on some kind of medication just to maintain mental balance if you have to take a tablet every day to remain sane that is not joyfulness isn't it you are on the verge of breaking down every day because you have made a small aspect of your life the whole of life life is just taking its toll nothing else so don't go that way everything has to play only as much of a role as it has to play in your life if you try to make it the whole it will not work if you simply sit here as a piece of life not as a man or woman not as a hindu or christian not as an indian or an american not not as anything simply as a piece of life you will see the mind will become still question how do we keep our thoughts pure sadguru who told you that thought can be dirty a thought is just a thought it is neither pure nor dirty it is simply because you get identified with it that it looks like reality every thought that you have is happening only from the information that you have already gathered the influences that you have come under and the data that you have collected within yourself no new thought is happening to you you can mix it and make permutations and combinations out of it but nothing new ever comes out of you because what you name as a my mind is not really your mind your mind is just society's garbage bin everyone who comes your way throws some nonsense into your head and goes you do not have a choice about what to receive what not to receive can you say i don't like this person i don't want anything from him is it possible if you don't like him he will throw more into your mind and go so what you call my mind is just an accumulation when i say garbage bin i am not saying it is useless for example your home can probably do without a television maybe even without a telephone but it's definitely cannot do without a garbage bin the quality of your house is very much decided by the garbage bin but because it is such a useful device in your house suppose you decided to sleep it in tonight then it becomes terrible this is all that has happened to you right now you are sleeping and living inside the garbage bin so it seems difficult if you keep the garbage bin elsewhere open it and use it when you have to or shut it when you don't want it this would be wonderful instrument the problem is that you are stuck in it all the time nothing wrong with the content of your mind you better have the the filth and the world in your mind otherwise if you don't know what is what you may walk into it by accident or by someone's intentions but if you know you will know that it is not for me so there is nothing wrong with the content of your mind if you do not get identified with it if you get identified with it it makes you feel filthy because everything in the world is there in your mind and now it is sticking to you if you just keep it where it should be there is really no problem if you want to ignore the content of your mind if you are willing one thing you can do is just say i am stupid if you are stupid you will not attach any significance to your thought if you think i am very smart you will attach too much importance to your thought you just have to see i am quite stupid it takes a lot of intelligence to see i am stupid the difference between a stupid person and an intelligent one is that intelligent person knows he is stupid but an idiot doesn't 
look at it in terms of existence and you if you look at what organization capabilities and certainty a simple and this conducting its life you will see that you are quite stupid have you seen even a simple and such a tiny thing is dead sure of what he wants with his life he knows what to eat what not to eat what is nourishing for him what is not he does not read that micro print on the back of the package he just knows what he wants if you look at every life if you look at how every atom is functioning you will realize you are stupid everything in existence is happening with a phenomenal sense of intelligence the very soil you walk upon is tremendously intelligent if you plant a mango seed and a neem seed the mango produces sweetness the neem produces bitterness it is the same oil has the land ever become a little confused and made mango come out of a neem seed even inanimated things are dead sure of what they are doing they only confused fool is a human being if you know i am a stupid then you will not attach too much importance to your thought and you will start looking at life if you start looking at life more your intelligence will definitely flower then thought is not a process thought is not a problem because not much thought will be there if you don't pay any attention to your thought it will just die don't pay attention to it but you cannot stop paying attention to it unless you think or see that thought are so petty and quite stupid compared to the rest of the existence without a single thought on its on their mind an ant and bird and be all just know what to do if you became like this once in a way when you are consciously think it will be crystal clear it will be like a knife which cuts through everything right now thought is all over the place so it has no penetration if you rest it once in a way when you pull out your sword it will cut through everything but if you are doing this with everything that comes your way all the time your sword will become like a stick you must keep it shedded then when you pull it out when you need it it is a useful weapon so don't try to have pure thoughts pure thoughts are most dangerous because you will get terribly attached to him what is a pure thought it is there such a thing there is nothing pure or impure about a thought whatever the content of the mind it is just throw itself out don't pay any attention to it unless you consciously bring it forth if you consciously generate a thought that is different when you will naturally create the kind of thought you want otherwise these thought are just random happenings they should stop if thoughts are going on continuously if you are having mental diarrhea you obviously ate some bad food you have physical diarrhea because you eat bad food if you have mental diarrhea you obviously consumed something wrong the moment you identify yourself with something that you are not you're finished your mind is in a continuous run there is no other way do what you want try as hard as you want it is not going to stop but if you take away these identities if you simply sit here as a piece of life not as a man not as a woman not as a hindu or christian not as an indian or a american not not as anything simply as a piece of life you will see the mind will become still now when you want to think you can think but if you don't want to think you don't think this is how it should be if i want to move my hand i move my hand if i don't want to i keep it still this is a useful body suppose it was moving all the time wouldn't this be crazy body if the same thing is happening to your mind is that not a crazy mind you are only comfort is that others cannot see it if your body did it everyone could see it 
when your mind does it everyone cannot see it but people can see if they watch you close enough if someone is a little aware they can very clearly see it the main aspect of meditation is as you become more meditative you become the boss your mind becomes the slave and that is how it should always be question whenever i try to meditate my mind always seems to come up with excuses not to meditate and i end up getting distracted i just don't seem to be able to sit still and meditate how do i deal with this sadguru your mind does not like meditation when you want to sit and meditate the mind will do everything to see that you don't first it will say oh we'll meditate tomorrow tomorrow is the deepest cunning of your mind the mind will say i won't do it if your mind says i won't do it your ego will say i will do it that is the nature of your ego if i want to get something done by you one simple way of getting it done is to say please don't do it no you should not do it don't do it you will do it because that is the nature of the ego so the mind will never say i'll not do it it will say let's do it tomorrow and tomorrow never comes in the rural areas of south india there is a belief that evil spirits try to enter your house in the evenings and because these evil spirits can only see the color red they go for your blood so people write nalaba in red paint on the front door nalaba means come tomorrow every day the evil spirit comes to the door step see the sign and thinks oh this house is for tomorrow and goes away tomorrow never comes so the evil spirit never enters the house people have done this to so many things that they should be doing in their life they have done nalaba to their very happiness when you sit for meditation if the mind comes come tomorrow tactic fails if you say no no i am committed i must sit for meditation i will just settle down the mind will try its next trick suddenly that telephone number that you have been trying to remember for the last one week will flash bright and clear in your mind if you say eureka jump up and run to the phone the meditation is finished If you don't run off but continue to sit and meditate in 2 or 3 minutes in half a dozen places you will suddenly start to itch If you don't meditate nothing will happen but if you sit for meditation so many things will start happening everywhere This is because the mind knows that if you keep the body still the mind will also naturally become still and the mind knows that if it allows this to happen it will become enslaved This is why in yoga so much stretch has been laid as asana because if you just learn how to keep your body absolutely still then your mind will also become still If you just observe yourself you will see how many unnecessary movements your body is making when you stand sit speak if you look at your life and see you will see that probably more than half the time is taken up on this there is so much unnecessary thoughts and activities with the body things that you yourself do do not care for but if you keep the body still slowly the mind will start collapsing this is when your mind will play the final trick it asks the questions what will i get what is the take away from this meditation that is the key to all the activity that is happening in the mind it is all about what can i get if you drop this calculation 90% of the work is over spiritually another 10% will happen by itself you don't have to get anything you don't have to benefit from it 
this is not about becoming healthy or becoming enlightened or reaching heaven this is just wasting time just learn to waste some time meditating every day nothing needs to be happen if you look for the take away you will only take petty things the real thing will never come with you if you want the real thing you just have to drop the one simple calculation if you just pull the plug if you just destroy this one calculation the every foundations of the mind are taken away suddenly it is different it has become a wonderful slave right now your mind is the boss and you are the slave the main aspect of meditation is as you become more meditative you became the more boss your mind becomes the slave and that is how it should always be the mind is a terrible master he will put you through all kind of endless suffering but the mind is a wonderful slave if you keep your mind in a certain way you can do anything you want with it